Jimi Hendrix. 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 Jimi I didn't know you were filming there, Bob. It's amazing how it catches us out. Yeah, amazing. Of course, you folks have never seen Bob, have you? No, I don't wait. I'm... <laughs> Just wave at him. Hello, Bob. Hi, Bob. Bob is silent. He won't say anything off camera. Hence his name. Yeah. Silent Bob. He's, he's very shy. So what are we here for today? Is it a folk tale day, Agle? I'm afraid it is. Oh, brilliant. Are you I'm... telling it me or you? Ah, uh, well, it'll be me, because <laughs> I, I just sat and learnt it. Um, uh, okay. Well, you know what you do, folks. Grab a drink, sit down, and relax. Enjoy this lovely, lovely Eggle Thorson folk tale. Oh. It's a fact of life. Some people are good at cooking, some ain't. Some people know exactly how to cook a meal precisely. Others don't. I'll leave it to you to decide which category you fall into. But I'll tell you a story. Many, many years ago, fool. Somewhere in, a, in Derbyshire, a small village, way out in the moors, there was a mother with a son who was, shall we say, kissed by the gods. Lucky. So, oh. I think. Anyway, it was one Sunday, and one of her favourite dishes was a sheep's head. They left the eyes and you see them through the week. But a boom. Anyway, in the pot was this great big sheep's head, wool and all. And in it, she also put a dumpling. I love dumplings. Oh, yeah. I've got to get some soup. The woman put the sheep's head in with the dumpling, a bit of water. I says, right, listen, I'm off to church. You keep an eye on that. And when it's cooked, take it off the heat, all right? Otherwise, this stick will be around your head. Do you get it? Yeah, ba, I get it. All right. I'm not stupid, you know. You know, the jury's out on that one. And off she went to church, and there she was. La, 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 in the Lord's name, be a mom. The son is sitting by the fire. Ah. And looks inside the pot, and there, with the gravy forming, it made the jaws of the sheep golden down. And the dumpling was between the jaws. Oh, only one dumpling? Oh, it's a big one. Oh, right. And he went, oh my God, the sheep eating the dumpling. And it ran off to the church, knocked on the door. Three times. In he went. And of course the service was going on and she's there. La, la, la. And he went, shh, shh. And she looked at him and winked. And he said, what's going on? And went, shh, shh. And she looked at him and winked again. Oh, he's getting really frustrated. Shh, And she looked around and sort of went, I used to look. You stand there winking at me while the sheep eats the rotten dumpling, woman. And of course, she was so embarrassed, she had to leave. And of course, the sheep hadn't eaten the dumpling at all. But that were in the sermon. Well, certainly going to be a topic of conversation for many a week to come. So, I wonder what that story is about when you're talking about a sheep's head. I would like to say one of King James the first favourite meals was a whole sheep's head. What, the whole sheep? Yep. With the with eyeballs? The, yeah. And a tongue? And the wool. Apparently he loved it. Uh, whether that's a reference to a king and a levy in taxes or something like that, I don't know. If you know, let us know. But uh, I mean, is that traditionally done these days? Do we use sheep's head in stews? or? I think it's in certain cultures yes. they use the sheep's head. I don't know if they leave the eyes in. Mind you, see you through the week. It can remind you of Indiana Jones, doesn't it? When he, when the sheep eyes and the stew. Well, we're brought up to Temple of uh, Doom. We're brought up to like certain things, but not others. I like, hate Brussels sprouts. Let alone oh, sheep oh, head. I love Brussels sprouts. God, evil. Oh, How can you like Brussels sprouts, I man? Love them. Every Christmas, it's part no, of my tradition. They're horrible. Nice and crunchy. Oh, they're like medieval cabbages. <laughs> Gives you a plenty of fun. Oh, I can imagine Martin from Belfast is going to comment now about how to cook with Brussels sprouts. He's an excellent chef, apparently. All you got to do is you don't boil them too much. The trouble is, where I bought something, they just get this green pulp, which is disgusting. Well, whoever came up with the idea of covering Brussels sprouts with chocolate? It's a horrible idea. What a waste of chocolate. Just eat Brussels sprouts. You can put um, bits of bacon. You'd be on about cauliflower nets. I eat that too. Oh, oh, it's horrible. It's funny, actually. You should say that. I haven't eaten a cauliflower in Yonks. Would you like one? Yeah. I'll buy one in Derby yeah. tomorrow. Well, I mean... You have that with a cheese sauce. It's oh, no, it's, it's a waste of cheese, man. Or eat it raw. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, I hate cauliflower. It looks evil. It looks like your brain. You're better, but you've been better fed than told. 
Well, no, I know that. I just, I'm a fussy eater. Yeah, I've noticed. I hate Brussels sprouts, oh. and I can't stand cauliflower. Do you like raw mushrooms? Well, they're all right. Some is, uh, when I buy mushrooms, I usually eat most of them. I've noticed this year, talking about mushrooms, there's a lot of them. And I'm, I was in mm. the garden the other day, and guess what I found? Mushrooms? A fly and garlic mushroom. Oh, you want to be careful eaten then. by a badger. So there's a hippie badger out there. Yes. Stripping. I kicked it into a bucket, it was separated into many millions of pieces. And there'll be hippie badges going, yeah man. Yeah man, please. I'm a hippie. Anyway, that aside, I hope you've enjoyed the story. Please leave us a comment on hashtag Hugtails. Yes. Plural. And well done. Should you wish to subscribe, press the bar and the bell and wondrous things will yes. happen. Yes, you get it right. And well, is that practice. Been, is that been enough time? I know. And um, don't be surprised. Uh, you won't get an uh, answer right away from your comments, but we will get back to you eventually. There are so many people yeah. doing it, and that's a good thing. Some days you need actual energy to leave comments. I know no. that sounds a bit daft. No. If you're half tired and you're half asleep, and you've not had a lot of sleep because you know, I'm a carer for my father, so it's a pretty demanding job. I mean, anybody that thinks you know it's an easy job, well, Indeed. you're living on planet Gaga. Well, it's like Benjamin Moore, so, where you're looking after a child, the child gets better. Um, oh, oh yes, a, good film that as well. An elderly person, they're going to get more and more addled and confused. So we will get back to you. And, Got uh, to go, back camera's backing. Yeah, okay. Bye. Woof woof baby. <laughs>